Yep. Get him out of there. Ah, oh, that might be a decent fish. Oh, he's he's stuck on that. Good morning, Beach Films. Welcome back to the channel. I am in Sebastian Inlet, or I'm at Sebastian Inlet on the east coast of Florida. I'm going to be fishing down here the next couple of days. From what I've been seeing from reports, looks like the beach might be a little bit dirty, and I do have some live shrimp. But let's get rigged up. Let's see if we can start catching some fish on some shrimp. You would think I would have learned by now to always bring some jetty shoes with me, but of course not. We're in flip flops. All right, I'm seeing some little baits moving around but the water is very dingy. Oh, there's a turtle. There's a sea turtle right there. Look at that. Swimming right under my feet. That's pretty cool. That's probably the closest I've ever been to one. Look at him right there. I'm just gonna toss it out. I can't tell how deep it is or how quickly it drops off. Oh, there goes a the fish. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, popped off right there. I think that was a mangrove. Okay, that happened relatively quick. I was throwing it a little far out. I didn't know where to put the bait. And then I reeled it in closer and got smacked. Can't see, that's the problem. Can't see what's going on. The water is a little too dirty. Oh, it's something's, something's trying to eat them right there on the top. Uh, that's a puffer fish. Uh, there was a puffer fish on top trying to eat my shrimp. So we got a little bit of life, a little bit of activity going on here. Two turtles, two little, look at that. Uh, three of them. Look at that, little guys. There's so many turtles around here. What's up with that? Y'all just stay away from my shrimp. I don't want you to eat my shrimp. Look at him, he's coming right up to me. Look at that. He's saying hello. Oh, we got a fish on. Oh, we had a fish on. Sorry, I got distracted with the turtle. All right, I did add a split shot. The outgoing current has picked up a little bit. So I just want something to kind of encourage that shrimp to get down a little bit quicker. I'm getting destroyed by small fish. So I put on a tiny hook and I'm gonna see if I can actually catch one of these small fish and use it for bait. fish we're looking for, I don't think. Got a toad fish, or a puffer fish. <laughs> oh, there he goes, perfect. Didn't have to deal with you. Yeah, I think there's a lot of puffer fish down there. The first fish that I hooked this morning, I think was a mangrove. Trying to see if there's anything small down here that is bait worthy. I was tired of getting my bait stolen by a bunch of puffer fish and random small fish. So I've been exploring, looking around for a better area to fish, and I peeked around this point in this campground and I found it looks like a ton of mangroves hanging around. Water's a little bit cleaner. So we're gonna see if we can catch some of them. Also, it looked like a good area that snook may sneak on by. Yeah, there's a school that may. That is a giant school of mangroves. There's actually some barracuda hanging out with them. Oh, that is so cool. All right, let's see if we can get down here. Huge school of mangroves and barracuda. He's got it, he's got it. First mangrove sight fished him. There we go. <laughs> He's a little guy. But there are tons of them down there. Pretty little mangrove right there. Beautiful colors on them. You can see that guy. Just so pretty. We'll get you back. Toss you over here. Oh, whoops. There was a school right there. Cool little spot. Such a big school of them. for jumping out oh there's another there's another look at there <laughs> little guy there's some decent ones in that school i mean this school like 50 fish all right see dude shrimp are escaping I had two jump out they're hitting my shrimp down there look at that they're chasing it they're all fired up they should hit this shrimp too yep something's on there we go there we go oh gosh 
feels like a better one all the way down there man they're fired up yeah that's a better fish that'd be a keeper right there here in the state of florida that was cool they were getting uh, all fired up on the shrimp that escaped from me school of mangroves here there he is there he is there he is right there it's awesome i've never fished for mangroves where i'm just like looking at them like this another pretty guy see ya oh yeah there he is i think there's some bigger fish down that way coming in a little guy still fun and i want to see if i can find any snook or maybe see some bigger mangroves there's been some bigger ones in the school that's hard to get to all right see you, dude already on it look at there digging <laughs> not a bad one right there yeah they are all over this point i came around to where there's a little bit more moving water oh there's a nice one right there i can see him not a bad guy see ya way better than just getting picked off all morning actually catching some fish there are a ton of them down there i can see them all on the bottom just hanging getting fired up oh he ate it, he ate it. <laughs> oh dang oh dude there's some really big ones right there okay i got a i got a knot in my line oh yeah those are some really good sized ones they're so fired up look at that they're trying to eat them on top oh he's all the way over here dang oh needlefish got it man this is a feeding frenzy right here holy smokes all right, I just got like a piece of the shrimp left. Oh, dang. There's one. What size are you? No, you're not too big. Not too big. Still fun catching these little guys. They're so aggressive. And there's like a hundred of them down there right now. Such a beautiful fish. Just whacking the mangrove snapper today. Look at them all, they're like all following this little guy, trying to eat the shrimp. There, there he goes. Come to a little pier inshore, and we're gonna take our croakers out here, and we're gonna soak them a little bit and see if we can pick up anything. There we got him. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. I don't know what we got. Finally got something. Right. Out uh, of your way. On the on the croaker. Nice. Got a fish. Good one too. Yeah, he's Solid running. Fish. What is it? It's big. Oh. oh. It might have been a snook. It was a snook, I think. Oh. Dang. Well, no, I'm not afraid. It looked like a snook. It didn't look wide enough. To I mean, I don't know what it was. Jack, Jack Wood slurped it down there. That's a snook. Dang. Yeah, that is a snook. Damn. Dang it. Oh. Just came unbuttoned. It's all right. That's how it goes. Yeah, it, the way that it was like scaled looked like a snook. Yep. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Oh. That might be a decent fish. Is my GoPro rolling? Uh, we're stuck. He's there. Yep. I got the I got him coming. All right, still got him. It's a snook. It's a snook. Oh, he's he's stuck on that. Oh no, it's a jack. It's a jack. It, it is a jack. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. He took me up in the mangroves, and uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it put a little more pressure on him since I know it's a jack. Look at that. That's pretty cool. 
we don't get this size jacks. Oh man, that's a horse. Uh, back home, we get the the big ones or little ones. That's okay. That's all right. Nice. We got a jack. You're good. That's that's how they that's how they roll. There we go. Yeah. All right, we caught a fish. fish <laughs> nice. I love jacks, man. I, I'm I'm down with jacks. We've worked hard for this fish today. Yeah, for a fish that's quality fun. It felt like he broke. Like I, I was I was fixing my GoPro, and it totally nice. felt like he broke off. I'm gonna get a pick. Nice you little got, jack. You got more yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get him. Got him. All right. Good fish. Yeah. Thank you, little Jack. Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for eating my croaker. Get you right back. Heck yeah. Couldn't locate the snook. Was really hoping to run into some opportunities. I even checked out the beach, and the beach just did not look fishable. And I didn't see any baits or anything to even really put in the effort to attempt beach fishing for snook. So that might be where they're hanging out. I didn't see. I saw one actually along the jetties along the inlet at sebastian one cruised by where i was catching those mangroves and i pitched my shrimp at him and he like spooked just from me moving my arm to cast so he was real spooky but did go to an inshore spot i don't even know where that pier was and hooked up on two fish the first one i think was a snook and then we caught that jack which was cool it's always i love jacks and uh, it was like a five pound jack which i don't ever get to catch five pound jacks at home and I, I don't know that i've ever caught a jack before this one on live bait so that, that was kind of cool just something a little bit different but tough fishing and just trying to make the best of the situation anytime i fish i just try to capitalize on whatever opportunity is given to me you can't always be in control of what fish are available and what conditions you're dealing with the rain is making a beat on this chair right here I always just try to find the absolute best opportunity. I had to move that. But I got one more day to fish while I'm down here. I am going to shoot over to another location that we have fished before. You know, I'm going to go to Jupiter Inlet. There's a species of fish there that I've actually never caught. And I wanted to go and actually put my hands on this fish, check it out, look at it, let show you guys, look at it real close because it's it looks beautiful. I think it's one of the prettiest fish out there, but I've never held one myself so i'm gonna go see if i can capitalize on that opportunity because it looks like the snook fishing might be a little too difficult right now so we're going to transition to that if you did enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching and as always you stay bummy